They might be old and white, but Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders just want to be one thing, down. Why? They want the black vote. Thanks, producer Brooke. Yes, the black vote. That mythical orb that contains the desires of every black American that, once in a candidate's clutches, will render them politically invincible forever. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty important. No other voting bloc has gotten candidates to carry around an urban dictionary over the Constitution. Am I staying woke? I don't even know what this means. I am already awake. Or get a candidate to whip and nay nay. Stop. Yes, it's a mad dash to show voters who's more committed to racial justice, which thanks to the Black Lives Matter movement calling out police brutality and the unfair criminal justice systems that have destroyed black communities is now one of the biggest issues of this Democratic primary. Meanwhile, the Republicans have barely said a thing. Guess it's just not a platform point on Planet Douche. Book. Okay, yeah, that's that, 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 a TV show, show. not in Donald. Thank you, Donald. Thank you for the book. Donald. Donald. Thank you for the book. And the who's who of the black political and entertainment worlds are picking their sides. I truly believe that Senator Bernie Sanders is the right man to lead this country. If you want to make sure Republicans don't take us backward, help Hillary move us forward. But who's got the better record? As a New York senator, Hillary has represented more African Americans than there are people in Vermont, Bernie's home state. In the 60s, Hillary organized a two-day strike on Wellesley campus to recruit more black students and professors. And Bernie Sanders was arrested protesting segregationist policies in Chicago. And in the 80s, he supported another outsider's historic run for the presidency, Jesse Jackson. Jackson, who is still undecided on who he will back. Ooh, feel that burn. But then we have Hill's husband. As president, Bill enacted some of the harshest reforms to the criminal justice system. Strict sentencing, three strikes laws, basically expanding the prison industrial complex. And while Hillary is not her husband, even though being a former first lady has totally been the springboard of her political career, she did back him on a 1994 crime bill saying that some black youth are super predators, no conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal. Uh... Since then, both Clintons have walked back on their support of tough on crime bills. It turns out that Bernie Sanders actually voted for the bill, though he had reservations. But he did vote against another Clinton legacy that was disastrous for poor people and people of color, welfare reform. In many respects, our country is becoming a poorer and poorer nation. And not to talk about the causes of poverty is absolutely absurd. He was right to hate the legislation. It cut $54 billion in funding from welfare and limited the time people could be on it. A recent study found that between 1996 and 2011, the number of families living on $2 a day more than doubled. Fast forward to today. Both Bernie and Hillary have had speeches interrupted by Black Lives Matter protesters, and both have set up meetings with organizers. They've also both outlined bold plans to end mass incarceration and police misconduct. In the end, race is a bigger issue in this election than it was when a black man was front runner. Thanks, Obama. So who's going to win over the black vote? And more importantly, who's going to stay woke?